Our scholars would say that we may lie in only three cases. Only three cases, right? In case of, you know, being in danger, if somebody threatened you, leave Islam now or blow off your head. You say, okay, okay, I'm not, I'm not a Muslim. And it happens. It happens during the time of the Prophet Sallallahu A companion was tortured until he uttered some word of kufr, some words of disbelief. And he went to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and he told him what happened. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told him, if they did the same, if they come back and did the same, you say the same thing. So in case of being under threat, you may utter words of kufr or you may, you know, lie. And the second case, if you are trying to reconcile between two brothers or two sisters who are not in good terms. So you will go to that sister and tell her, you know, Sister Wallahi, Sister Fatima, you know, Sister Aisha love you so much. Maybe Sister Aisha hates Sister Fatima. <laughs> but you're trying to create love between them, so you utter a few words here and there to reconcile between two brothers or two sisters who are not or who are quarreling. And the third case is my favorite, and that is to lie to your spouse. <laughs> no, 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 don't get me wrong. To lie to your spouse is not to cheat on your wife and come and lie to her and tell her I was working, no. But to exchange these sweet words, sweet words that will never ever harm you, to say them, just to please your wife or your husband. You know, like in the, in the case of two uh, uh, people who are engaged, for example, and we know that engagement period is so sweet, so nice, so the husband or the, the fiance will go and visit his in-laws, and of course, before going, the brother will wear the best clothes. He will shower himself with perfume, right? Because he wanted to appear in the best shape in front of his fiance. And of course, the sister back home, she woke up before Fajr. She didn't do tahajjud. No, she stayed. <laughs> she stayed all day, all, all day just in front of the mirror. You know, fixing her face, putting a lot of makeup, a lot of mascara and rouge -a and all that stuff that you guys use. Why? Because you wanted to appear in front of your fiancé in the best condition. And then we got married. The first night. The first night. <laughs> you know, in the morning after we sleep, then we got up in the morning. This is the first time you're seeing your wife in that condition. The hair gone everywhere on the bed. Sometimes it goes inside your nose. <laughs> and then, of course, the mascara and all stuff, it bleeds on your face. So the brother wakes up and looks and says, Audhu Billah, you know. And, <laughs> and of course, the brother is snoring all night, one, one leg on the, in the east, one leg in the west. Right? These are surprises that you never seen before in your. Because marriage is one package, you cannot just pick and choose. And the looks are going to change anyway. She's going to get pregnant, she's going to get a little bit fat, you are going to gain weight because she cooked a lot of beautiful food. We have to accept each other and, and our faults. Now in the middle of all these crises, you look at your wife in the morning and you tell her, you are the most beautiful woman I have seen. You are lying. <laughs> <laughs> You are lying. But that's the, but don't exaggerate. Otherwise, you, she will tell you you're a big liar, you know. <laughs> don't exaggerate. Just try to exchange these sweet words. That, that keeps the marriage going in. Inshallah. Truthfulness. My, these are the only three cases. Aside from that, there is no pink lie. There is no white lie in Islam. Lies have got no colors. Just lies are lies.